Hiya, it's uh, Martin from Flickin' Feathers here. Uh, today I'm going to be tying um, another carp fly, uh, a really simple pattern, but very effective. Um, it's, I just call it uh, Martin's Conker, um, basically carp zonker. <coughs> so, uh, you can see here, really simple, really quick to tie, but it slays them. Contain a range of colours, olives, tan, black, purple, uh, hot pink's also quite good. But today I'll be good for a sort of rusty colour. So in the in the vise I've got a TMCO 3761 uh, size 8, it's a 2x heavy nymph hook. Um, but you can use basically anything you like. Uh, as long as it's got a wee bit longer shank and is suitably heavy wired. I'm um, just running on some 6 hot thread in red, that's the colour I like for for these, I, li I, like, I like red thread with a sort of rust coloured <coughs> zonker. So, I'll, uh, I'm just going to tie in a pair of a set of small uh, lead eyes. Um, obviously, if you are fishing, you know, different conditions, you would change the weight of the eyes. You might want a tungsten, tungsten dumbbell, or you know, bead chain or something. Depending if you're fishing uh, shallower or. Uh, Deeper, faster water. I've tied the eyes about, you know, an eye width back. You know, it's maybe about, you want plenty of room um, in front here for tying off the zonker and stuff. So, <clears throat> this flight, I've, um, it's, I suppose, well, I, I, I've showed it to people, uh, I've showed it to a couple of guys in more than once it's been sort of disparagingly called a, a guide fly you know um, but guide flies work you know like um, they're very quick they are quick to tie and they're very effective you know if I'm paying a guide three four hundred bucks for a day I want these flies to work so um, <coughs> don't let the simplicity fool you you know uh, the Crazy Carper is another very, very simple but very effective carp fly. Um, I'm sure you can. That be. I'm sure that'll be in like uh, the sort of fly carping and stuff. You can see that. So next, I've got a pair of uh, silly legs. These are. Th this is actually a bass jig skirt that I'm using. Um, I think it's Texas Craw. Something is a colour. Something like that. It just depends on the the brand, but. Again, as as I've said before in videos, especially for carp, I don't really care specifically like what the exact colour is or anything. As long as it's mottled or it's not a solid colour, right? I, I like that, that variation in colour. So tying two of these in, uh, I want the, t the the back set of legs to be like the length of the hook. So just measure it, chop my hands, and tie it in. Right. Yeah. Just pull them tight, run your threads and open spirals first to the front. And just I just leave them, don't 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 worry about them again. Uh, and I'll, just as a rule of thumb, you can snip them again if you just pull it back, roughly the same length. Actually, it means you don't have a full leg uh, flapping around, getting in your way. And I'll cover all this up. Like 
this red. <clears throat> now, depending on where I'm fishing, um, because I live in in Tokyo, um, I fish a lot of like, inner inner city rivers streams, and they can be very snaggy. Um, you know, uh, and the like, for some reason here they use like tarpaulin bags full of sand to like bank up areas. And I mean that's it's, if you get in, into that, that's just a lost fly. Um, so quite often I just varnish this and put the zonker on. But uh, if I'm going somewhere else, like I'll be going up in the next couple of weeks near Mount Fuji to fish some of the lakes there um, that are nice and not not at all snaggy. I like to just use a put a dubbing body on it. And this is just a uh, Pheasant tail ice stub. Just get it started in your thread. Go back. And just dub it and just tighten it up as you go. Form quite a, a reasonably heavy body. Uh, just figure eight it around. Figure eight around the eyes. Keep that nice and tight. point I like to just throw in a wee half hitch because I'm going to the hook's going to come out of the vise as we attach the zonker. So I'm just using a sta uh, this standard thickness um or like standard width medium width sort of Natural that rabbit died like a sort of rusty crayfish orange, and basically, I'm going to put a hole put a wee put a pilot hole just just about an eighth of an inch back from the the end of the strip. A mark so that I know where I'm going, and then I'll take the hook out of the vise, turn it over, and pull pull this the, the hide through the through the hook, and seat it right down to the body. Turn that back to the vise. Now pull it quite tight, and at this point, I like that the, the a little bit extra hair, you know, just to be caught. And I, I'm, I don't worry too much about like separating it at the tie-in point. I want that extra wee bit of bulk at the face, at the head. So just come in and catch it, which is sitting the way you like. Come in and tighten up. Put a few turns in, in front there just to make sure it's nice and secure. And come in and snip it as close as you can to the thread wraps. Then basically just tidy it up. <coughs> and then the last stage is just pull a leg back at each side. The, the body and clean everything up with your tidy everything up with your thread put up a nice little head and then quite quite finish And another, just for security, even though I'm going to varnish it. And that, 
much more or less that. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a, a bit terrible cold. I just well, about saliva onto the zonker there. Um, just to kind of keep it out of the way, and then just come in here. You no, know, this is super glue. Give it a brush, and then that would I've sort of flooded the eye. So I'll just uh, take a wee scrap bit of wire and clear it. And there you have it, that is the uh, the Conker, Cap Zonker. Um, really quick, really simple tie. Uh, I'd encourage you to get some in your box. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I appreciate any comments you want to leave below. Um, and please, of course, like and subscribe for more HD fly tying and fishing videos. Thanks a lot, guys.